My name is Jean Chrysler, and I'm the director of the yoga teacher training program at the Trinidad Correctional Facility. We started about a year and a half ago. How it started was the, a few of the students, a few of the uh, residents at the facility were doing yoga and they wanted to know how to do things right. That's what they said. They said, we're doing this, we're using videos, but we want to know how to, how to do it right. Oh, it might be second to the last vinyasa. Exhale, hinge. When I first got here a couple years ago, there's several people that wanted to do yoga. And then a couple guys got together with staff. You know, why don't we call somebody? So they called Jean Chrysler about coming in and maybe teaching some classes. And we found out that she'd be willing to come in and teach an instructor's program. I took the first yoga instructor's program here. It's a 200 hour instructor program. And since then, I've been helping her teach the other instructor classes, and that's been, it's been going great. Once you feel warmed up, long inhale up eventually. Arms slowly to the sides, take a breath. So I started doing yoga before I got here. I started doing yoga at Crowley Correctional Facility. In 2011, I did a PTSD program through the VA, and they had a yoga instructor that would come in once a week. I found that that really helped me out. I didn't understand why, but it did. And so got introduced to yoga at Crowley. I was way overweight, out of shape, and just moving, I started feeling better, and it started motivating me to do more. Uh, got here and started doing more and more yoga, and I found that the yoga, for whatever reason, at the time I didn't understand it, um, helped my PTSD symptoms. I would still have the symptoms, but I could deal with the symptoms in a lot better way. So I really dove into the yoga. Close right. Exhale left. All the way. Sometimes when you're in the yoga class, you'll notice that your mind is going all these different directions, or you might even feel like certain emotions come up. Like there were a couple classes towards the beginning of my practice where I felt like a little bit of like frustration or almost anger coming up. But then, you know, you remind yourself that, well, I'm in the right place right now to be working through this. You can focus on breathing, allows you to get more in touch with what's going on inside your body. For me, when I start getting anxious or something, I can just simply breathe. I don't have to squash everything down or get angry or anything like that. I can breathe through it and it makes me feel a lot better. By the end of the class and throughout your day, you'll feel like if you were feeling frustrated during your practice, you'll feel more level-headed. I enjoy the, the after effects of yoga. It makes me feel renewed physically, mentally, and even spiritually. My body feels, feels wonderful after I do yoga. Yoga is just one of those things that I've incorporated in my life. I do it almost every day. One, step to the front of your mat. Half hinge. Exhale, full hinge. I know that it has been a theme in, with talking with some of the guys at the prison, that that pause hadn't been there, and that's part of the reason they find themselves in that situation, is that thought or emotion happened, action happened, and there was no pause. Part of the huge reason that humans feel driven to find their true nature is there's freedom in that. You're not confined to that way of life anymore. And, and these guys are at that point where they're questioning what they've done in the past, who they've been in the past, who they want to be in the future. Once you know yourself, once we have our own practice, nobody can question that then. That's your practice, that's yourself, you know that, and it is a stability that you can use to move through the world so you don't need those distractions anymore. It's a, a step along the way of knowing that deepest part. I think they are at that point, this tipping point of saying, well, how do I change? Well, I have to break out of something I thought I was and have the freedom to, to explore a newness for myself. <laughs>